Welcome to Show and Tell University. Hi, I'm Missy Marsh. Today for Show and Tell, I brought glue. Look at all the colors of glue. And I brought salt, coarse sea salt. We're going to do something fun with that. Today's letter, the reason I brought things that start with a certain letter, it's because it's letter G. We're going to learn the name the sound and the picture for letter G. Capital G, little g. G says g, as in g, glue. G says g, g, g. Look at capital G and little g. Glue, can you hear it? G, g, glue. Capital G, little g. G says g, as in glue. G says g. G -g. Very good. Clap for yourself. Let's blend that. Blending is when you put two letters together. We're going to put a consonant. This is our Varsity Phonics Club. The consonant G with the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. A says A. E says E. I says I. O says A. U says A. A, E, I, A, 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 E, I, A, A. And we have our blending tree. Hi, Mr. Blending Tree. Hi, boys and girls. I heard there's a new little scholar. His name is Sawyer. Yes, that's true. We have a new baby born to our scholar group. Congratulations. Well, can you blend? Yes, we're going to blend the consonant G and the vowels. Be sure you go back to our other YouTube videos so you can find out how exactly to do that and practice writing the vowels. Now let's blend. G says G, A says A, G, A, G. G says G, E says E, G, E, G. G says G, I says I, G, E, G. G says G, O says A, G, A, G. G says G, U says A, uh, G, A, uh, G. Ga, 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 ga. Ga, 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 ga. And we have more G, G, green. Green frogs and G, G, green caterpillar heads. Look at that. Aren't they cute? Look on Missy Marsh's Facebook page. It looks just like this in the profile picture. That's what I look like. Missy Marsh, and you can get a copy of the Blending Tree and also of our manuscript printing paper. Now, how would you write letter G? Let me move this so we can get our whiteboard. It's very important to use the right markers. I have markers here, but I'm only going to use dry erase on my dry erase board. Now, capital G and little g. Look on the back. We're going to go in the sky and the sand for capital G. And today, we get to go in the sea. I don't think we've done that yet. This is our manuscript printing paper. It's on Missy Marsh's Facebook page. Here we go. With capital G, just like you're making a capital C, it's got an extra stick. We start here where we always do. Go up, hit the ceiling of the sky, bounce off, come down hit the floor of the sand and back up and straight inside, inside that line. Little g, you make like a round ball. Start here, hit the ceiling of the sand, go around, hit the floor of the sand and back up. Are you ready? Are you ready to go in the sea? Here we go, we're gonna dive in the sea. We go straight stick down, into the sea we go. Bounce off the floor of the sea and come back up. Capital G and little g, let's make that. Here we go. We start here, we go up and around and straight stick inside. Little g, make a round ball, straight stick down and back up. Capital G, little g, that's with a dry erase green marker. Now I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to take a different marker. This is one that I can use on paper. Look at that g -g green grass. I better get the marker out of the way and the pointer. 
I always take the back of that marker and pop it in there. Here we go. Sky, sand, and sea. And here's our capital G. Go up, hit the line, bounce off, down, and back up. And scholars, always hold your paper and a straight stick inside. Here's our round ball in the sand. Round ball, straight stick down in the sea, and bounce back up. Two finger spacing, capital G, go up, hit it, come around, back up, straight stick inside. Little G is a round ball. Stick go down in the sea and back up. And now we write ga 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 Did you know if I put another letter here? Hmm. Let's see. Or here, or here, or here, here. We can make words. I'm going to put a T right here. Little T. We'll learn little T soon. Now, what happens if I cover that up? G says G, E says E, G, E, G, T says T, G, E, Get, Get. Look at that, you're reading. Let's write that. G, and down in the C. E, and a straight stick inside. And T, you'll learn that letter soon. G, E, Get, Get. That's how we do it, and you can print this off and write your letters. Remember, G says G as in glue. Now we're gonna do something fun with glue. Watch how I put that back on and pop that marker. I'm gonna move my markers, put them over here. Now let's have some fun. We have some hands-on fun things to do. I told you some things that we brought glue and salt, and look at this. I made a sun catcher. You can hang that in your window. Isn't that pretty? And there's another sun catcher over here, right over here. I'll show you how I made that. We don't need the salt yet. All I did was get a lid, a plastic lid. And I bought colored glue. Look at the beautiful colored glue. If you don't have colored glue, this is Crayola washable color glue. That's what I used. And then I found some Elmer's. That was glow in the dark glue. And all I did for this one and for the orange one was put the glue, open the glue, and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, let your kids do this. You just squeeze it. This is really good for the pinster and for the fine motor skills. Go all the way around and around and around. Put different colors in. See the different colors that I put in this one? I used that blue and some of the green, and then I put this glow-in-the-dark glue there. Now, just let it dry. See the deep part? I put it in there, and let them dry. Use different colors. The hardest part is waiting, because I waited for about a week, I think, with these. That's a long time, isn't it? Several days. You just have to leave it, and then you pull it up, and I took a hole punch, after a week about, and then I pulled it up and I punched a hole in it, that's a little heart hole, and then I put a little string on it and you can hang it up. It's so, so pretty. Now, that's all you have to have. Isn't that fun? If you don't have colored glue, you can use white glue and put acrylic paint in there. So that's kind of fun to do. Just a lid and that's all it takes. Now we're gonna make something different. We're going to make a bookmark. Now watch this. We're going to do our bookmark, then we're going to paint with glue. This one is fun. See that bookmark I made? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All I did, if this is a school box and it has an indentation, can you see that indentation in here? I have some school things in here. This is an indentation. All you have to do is take your glue and let the kids do this because this is really fun. Look at that. Shake it down. This is all you have to do. Go around the outside of it. You can't go wrong. If it's messy, we don't care. That's all you do. Go around the outside and you can fill it in. If you want to make it all red, you can make it red. If you want to make it green or blue, whatever color you want to make it. You see how that is? I always wipe that off 
and then I have something to wipe it off with. I'm going to put a little bit of blue just so you can get the idea. Here we go. I'm going to do this really fast, but oh, sometimes that glue sticks, doesn't it? Let's see if I can get it out. Hey, there it comes. See how good this is for their fine motor skills? You just want to fill it in. There's no right or wrong. There you go. Just fill it in. This one doesn't take as long to dry. I think this took like a night or two days. It just depends how thick you put it. And just because we're, I'm just going to do it just like this. Look at that. I think I got it clear over to the side, did I? I might need to fill it in. And then if you want to, be sure you close that up. Maybe we'll just put a little bit of glitter glue. Let's see if I can get some of that out. Glue is so much fun. I don't know if I can, I'm going to get it out. Sometimes, you know, that gets really hard and sticky. I can't get it out right now. So boys and girls, see what happens. You have to clean it. Let me see if I did it. You got to just keep trying. Hey, glitter glue. Look at that. I love glue. Oh, come on. You might have to have somebody help you. I might have to have somebody help me. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's just going to have something in the middle. There we go. See how you make that? And then you let it dry. The hard part, and again, I'm going to squish it around. Look at that. Ooh. And I'm going to squish it over to the side and squish it all together. Look at that. I messed it up. That's okay. It'll dry. And when that's all dry in a couple of days, <laughs> now what am I going to do with this glue? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a piece of paper behind me. You need to have a napkin, obviously. <laughs> I didn't have one. We have something else we're going to do. So let's move this over. And now we're going to make, we're going to paint with glue and paint with salt. Isn't that bookmark will be so pretty in a couple of days. I have something else to bring around here, so let me get that. Isn't it fun to be messy? Let's see if I can move all this in. Ooh, here it comes. Can I move it in? This is easy to do. We just have a few minutes. Faith, our cameraman, is telling me. I took a piece of construction paper and I drew fireworks on it. Can you see that? And with a white crayon. I just drew curvy, 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 curvy lines with my crayon. And then you take your glue, just like we had our glue, and you make the lines just like that curvy line. You don't have to draw it first with a crayon, but it's kind of fun if you do. There we go. And then after you draw that, you take the salt and put the salt on it like that. Now, if you have this coarse sea salt, that's what you want to use. You want to use the shaker to shake it over there. You can do that also. I just had some in there. Then on your construction paper, you want to have a tray or something under it. You shake it off and look at that. Now the next part, you want to let it dry really, really well. When it dries, you take your watercolors get a lot of water and then you just touch it look how it spreads isn't that beautiful it just spread you barely touch it and it goes all the way through I think that's so beautiful now you want to be sure and let it dry before you do that or you'll just mess it all up let's try one more color really fast because I think we're coming out of time that was purple and a purple blue. Ooh, look at that's beautiful. And I dropped that brush. I will pick that up. See what a beautiful picture you can do. Be sure and let that dry. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. This is Missy Marsh. Find us on Facebook. And come back often and invite a friend.